Start with breaking news at the George Washington Bridge. An overnight truck crash killed one person and injured another. Traffic stopped for hours. It has now just started to move. We have team coverage. We start with CBS 2's Weijia Jang live at the bridge in Fort Lee with an update on the situation. Weijia? Of course, about 20 minutes ago, we finally saw some movement here on the ramp to get onto the upper level. You can take a look right now and see that the tractor trailers are just inching along, but so far, only one lane is reopened, so they have to share that and somehow try to merge this traffic that has been building up since about 2.30 this morning when the accident happened that drew several teams of emergency responders and police to the scene. Uh, teams working to clear the crash involving at least two tractor trailers one jackknifed and the FDNY confirms at least one fatality and another serious injuries. Uh, police rerouted some cars. They were able to do that near the Palisades Parkway onto a service road, but they could not move any of the trucks because those can't even travel on the lower lane anyway, not to mention their size and just trying to work out a traffic pattern. So the best news again right now, back here live, you can see that the trucks are moving, but the Port Authority says you should still stay away from this completely because, again, uh, there was so much backup. So it's going to take quite a while to, to move these tractor trailers through, and they're asking you to find another way.